<laughs> welcome back to our channel and welcome oh okay okay welcome back to our channel welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that button like subscribe share and all that good stuff look at max participating so today is day four of us using all the food in our fridge and really i probably should have started this at day four or five because basically we used almost everything that was in the fridge. So we went and did a little grocery shop. We just got back from the mall. We hung out at the mall for a little bit. The kids got to play. Um, there were like different things. They had like a train and whatever. I got my hands and my feet done. Um, and now we're back home, so I'm gonna do a grocery haul video, and I'll tell you a little bit about what we're gonna, what we're gonna make, how we're gonna use everything up before we leave. they wanted to get on there. Yeah. Ready? The train? Choo choo! Choo choo! Choo choo! I mean, those were like real tears.
Here's our plan to use all of the groceries that we purchased. We're going to be making a juice daily, either green juice or a carrot juice with other fruit in it. Uh, we'll be making waffles and eating fruit most days for breakfast. Um, I plan to make a turmeric rice with sauteed kale, uh, steak fajitas, and a sardine sauce. And those three meals will kind of mix and match throughout the week to cover all the days. We also have some cooked black beans in the freezer and we still have frozen corn so we'll probably do some sort of like rice bowl with that for lunch one day okay it's day five of emptying this fridge and we are starting the day with a juice we also um, made waffles today and the kids are eating these strawberries. So we are right now down to two and a half containers of strawberries. We started off with four yesterday. <laughs> I'm making turmeric rice and I'm gonna be using two of the peppers, um, carrots, onions, garlic, kale, and I'm also gonna be putting the chickpeas in it and a bunch of seasonings and then the rice. And we'll most likely eat that for like three or four meals. Um, we can mix it up, like have it for lunch or dinner. Okay, I've got all my ingredients and seasonings prepped for this turmeric rice. So I'm just gonna start um, building them in the pot. Normally I use, um, I start it on the stove and then I finish it in the oven so that the rice comes out perfectly. Now there's no oven here. <laughs> so I am really crossing my fingers as I make this that I'm able to get it right because I'm not great at making rice on the stove. Okay, so first up, I have my onions in the pan. I'm gonna get them going with a good saute. And then um, I added in the garlic. And now I'm just gonna throw in the carrots. And I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. I'm gonna put a lid on it um, so that the carrots can soften a bit. I kind of did big chunks. Like, I don't know. I was just like, let me do something a little different. So I think the rice will have a lot of um, texture to it with all the different things I'm putting in, but I'm gonna let these carrots cook down a little bit so they won't be too crunchy, but they'll have a nice bite once everything is done. Okay, so the carrots are nicely softened. Now I'm gonna add in the seasonings. Um, I'm using turmeric, curry, and black pepper, along with kind of all my usual onion powder, garlic powder, um, I did use a bouillon cube, so I haven't added any salt yet. Um, and I'll just check the salt before I add in the rice and just see if I need to add, um, add more. Adding in the peppers, and then I'll also add in the chickpeas. Okay, so I'm getting everything stirred up really well. And then I'm gonna add in this coconut milk and I need to have like at least four cups of liquid in here. So I have two cans of coconut milk and I'll probably add like about a cup to two cups of water. Once everything kind of comes to a boil, then I'm gonna add in my rice. Okay, so all the liquid is in and I adjusted the seasonings a bit. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then add in the rice. So I was gonna put kale in the rice, but I decided to leave it out because I figured I can just saute it on the side. Normally I put um, cabbage in the rice and I kind of forgot it. And I feel like because there's no microwave, when I reheat the rice, I'm gonna be reheating it on the stove and I just feel like the kale is gonna start looking crazy. So I'm gonna just put it on the side. 
Okay, the pot is boiling. I am adding in the rain. It's about two and a half cups. And I'm gonna get it stirred up and then I'm gonna turn the temperature all the way down and pray for the best. Here is the finished rice. The bottom burned a little bit in the pot, so I took everything out, but thankfully the taste of the burn didn't go through the rice. I got it out in time. It really is delicious. The um, carrots have a really good texture. Chickpeas are perfect, so it's gonna go really good paired with some sauteed um, kale. And this is probably enough for us to have for a few meals, at least at least two, but probably more like three. It is day six of us getting this fridge emptied out. And so I'm making a green juice today. Um, I'm using celery, cucumbers, the apples, pears, lime, ginger, uh, pineapple, and kale in today's juice. And then I'm also gonna cut up some fruit. I'm gonna cut up the watermelon. I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. Um, these are our last two containers of strawberries. I just have them soaking in some water with vinegar and then I'm gonna rinse them and dry them and I'll cut some of them so that they're ready to eat. This is Max's morning snack. He's having some of the green juice I made today and some of the watermelon I cut up. So we're working through these items. Kick! Kick! We are down to our last few days and I am not sure if we're actually going to get through all of the food. I am going to prioritize anything that is fresh and perishable that I won't be able to travel with and hopefully we don't have to throw anything out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked what you see, we'd love for you to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And we will see you in the next one.